What's going on YouTube? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Fashion and Fragrance Guy. I hope you guys don't just enjoy smelling good. I hope you enjoy looking great as well. Hopefully that's the case. If so, I think you found the right channel because I focus on both. Make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well so that way anytime a new video is uploaded, you get notified. On today's video guys, we're going to be jumping into a brand called Frank Bockley. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, I do apologize. Lately here, I've been shedding light on fragrance brands or houses uh, that don't get much talk that I kind of feel like are hidden gems that really deserve some conversation here on the platform of YouTube. Now, a lot of the fragrances I have uh, from this particular uh, house, I think all of them actually I got from FragranceNet. You know, so I'll try to link them down below if I can, but most of them only cost between 50 to maybe 80 bucks maybe 90 bucks was the highest i paid for any of them so they're very affordable in my opinion and i think they are very much high quality for what you're going to pay a lot of people like to throw around that term niche quality if that was such a thing then i guess these would fall into that category because they are very very well done so i have five from the brand that i want to talk to you guys about that i think are the best five i had a chance to sample quite a few of them i think honestly these are the best five. So I'm gonna run the intro when we come back. We're gonna talk about the top fragrances or the top five from the brand of Frank Bocklet, which all of them are kind of centered around one central note. Hope you guys stick around and see this because I think you're gonna enjoy um, this particular content. So if you wanna see what's on the list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Let's go. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump into the video. As I said before, these fragrances to me um, are very high quality for what you're going to pay for them. I got all of my own fragrance net. Again, I'll link them, link them down below. And again, they're featured around one note. And obviously, with the series that I've been doing here on YouTube as well, my uh, favorite fragrance notes, they actually have, for the most part, a fragrance that kind of focuses on at least three or four of my top favorite notes in perfumery. So in the fifth spot, and like I said, all of these are at least they like. You know, the top three are a love, the bottom two are a strong like, all right? So in the fifth spot, this one is called Tonka, right? This one is called Tonka. And obviously Tonka bean is the main note here, but you also get fig, ginger, and sandalwood. To be quite honest with you, some of the other fragrances on this list seem to feature as much tonka as this one does, and that's why it's in the fifth spot. I would have loved for this one to be even more uh, focused on the note of tonka bean, because honestly, in my favorite notes, tonka bean is probably my probably my second favorite note behind amber uh, right now. So tonka bean is definitely here, but they use some other notes to give this kind of creamy freshness. Again, that ginger really kind of a fresh spicy note um, but you get a lot of ginger a lot of a lot of fig like I said tonka bean is definitely in here but I wish there was even more tonka bean and that's why the only reason why it's in the fifth spot but it really smells absolutely phenomenal and like I said most of these fragrances you can get for around that around 40 to 50 to 60 bucks most of them so at that price it's a steal so if you like tonka bean and I would say also with this one fig this is one that I would highly recommend in the fifth spot. This one is called Tonka. All right, guys, now coming in in the fourth spot, this one is really, really good, man. These top four were really close, to be honest with you. This is a strong like for me. You know, bordering on that love category, but this one is called Cashmere. Look at the color of this juice, man. This, this, I'm telling you guys, you'll be really impressed with these fragrances. This one, of course, features uh, center around the note of Cashmere wood. You get cinnamon, leather, and benzene. I have it right here. This is so good. This is so good, guys. Listen, that cashmere wood kind of gives this musky, 
nuance to a fragrance, but you get that, but you get a lot of cinnamon in here as well. And I really love cinnamon and fragrances. So you get that and a lot of cinnamon and some leather. Those are the main three notes, but it smells really, really, really good. Cashmere is not a note that is as popular as a lot of the other notes that uh, I'm gonna talk about today that these fragrances are featured around, but it's one that I think more people need to probably explore, especially the way that it's utilized in this fragrance. So definitely, man, look at it. Like I said, look at the juice color. One that you definitely need to get your nose on, guys. I don't think anybody will be disappointed with this one. This one is called Cashmere. All right, guys, honestly, these top three, you can go one, two, three, three, two, one. Honestly, the top three are a tie for me. So you can go one A, one B, and one C. All right, so I'll mention this one first. Guys, I'm not hyping this up, but these top three are really good, man. And this one is called Amber. This one's called Amber. And of course, it is featured around uh, the note of Amber. Uh, but you get Amber here, you get patchouli and vanilla. That's really all you get with this one. And the best way for me to describe this it smells very closely to a lot of some of my favorite amber fragrances, specifically Amber Absolute from Tom Ford, minus that smokiness. Now, Amber Absolute is a really smoky fragrance, so kind of take away the smoke of that and amp up the vanillic benzoin type touches of amber uh, that you get in the fragrance. So this one is sweeter without the smoke, but it does kind of put me in the mindset of Amber Absolute from Tom Ford. But for what you're gonna pay for it, guys, it's a steal. Seriously, if you love Amber, you will not be disappointed with this one. Check it out, this one's called Amber. All right, guys, so if you wanna call this 1B, <laughs> the next one that I really love is called Patchouli. And of course, this is one of my top uh, six notes and fragrances. This is, of course, centered around Patchouli, but you also get Amber here, Tonka Bean, Benzoin, and Musk. If you love patchouli, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. This comes across to me as that chocolatey, cakey patchouli, and that's because of the other notes used in here. You got amber, you get benzoin in here. It gives, again, that really nice, warm, resinous, uh, vanillic kind of nuances there. So it gives that sweetness to it, that depth. And I think a lot of times when you have patchouli and people uh, give it or ascribe it that cakey variety, a lot of times you'll see that it has amber. Uh, or some other resin in there, like maybe myrrh, uh, to really give it that kind of cakey nuance that people talk about, chocolatey, cakey. You get that here, man, with some musk. That was it. This is, for the price, can't beat it. Can't beat it. Highly recommend you check this one out as well. Patchouli. All right, guys, and 1A, and this was the first one I ever got from this brand. This is what opened my eyes to it. When I got it, I said, wow, we really might be on to something here. And then I started sampling the other ones. And especially the ones that I have here, they were almost just as good as this one. But man, this is 1A for a reason. This is the 1A for a reason. This might be a tenth of a point better than the first, last two I talked about. This one is called Tobacco. This is really, really good. Tobacco, Plum, Tonka, and Vanilla. I'm gonna spray it on my wrist here. This is good. This is good. The tobacco and plum in the opening is just, it's to die for. Plum is such a sensual fruit note, like plum, peach, fig, very sensual. A little bit of a spiciness coming from this one too. This is so good. Yeah. Like I said, guys, you can't go wrong with any of these, especially those top three that I talked about. If you like the note that it's centered on, I think you're gonna love the fragrance. And again, at the price point that you get these for, and they do get, all of these give pretty good performance. Pretty good performance, at least at six hours. You can't beat these. Well done, these are definitely, I would say these are some hidden gems because nobody really talks about these. But my gosh, guys, if, if I'll put it to you this way. Looking at these bottles, the presentation and you talk about the scent profiles and how good they smell how good they perform if these were a come some kind of exclusive niche brand 
right? If Tom Ford released these ones like private collection fragrances and they sold for 250, 300 people would buy them. That's how good they are. Sincerely, in my humble opinion. So check them out, guys. Like I said, I'll link these down below if they're still on FragranceNet. Between 40 to 80 bucks, most of them you can find. And I just, at the end of the day, I think they're worth it. Like I said, I purchased all these myself, so um, no hype or anything, but they're just good fragrances. There are some hidden gems that I found that I wanted to share with you guys. Have you tried anything from this brand, Frank Bocklet? They have some other collections as well, but this is the one that I chose to focus on that I really uh, gravitated towards. Have you tried anything from this house, from this brand? If so, leave it down below. I would love to hear your thoughts, but that's all I have for you guys today. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Voltile Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.